I'm here to talk about week one of our fantasy football league, Flair for the Gold, uh, where the Stud Stable should probably be renamed the Dud Stable after our week one performance against the Erica, Estr Erica Estradas, where we lost by close to 40 points, if not more. The fact of the matter is, we had some players who didn't perform up to par, and we left 41 points on the bench with Arian Foster. And anybody who told you uh, that he was going to score 41 points in week one against the defending AFC champions is a liar. Uh, no one expected that. The fact is, we started two proven running backs in Jamal Charles and, and Michael Turner. And it's easy to see and sad to see that Michael Turner is not the player he was two years ago. So Arian Foster will be in the lineup for week two. Uh, we're not looking at this loss. Are we happy we lost? No. Uh, but we're not looking at it and saying, well, our team's terrible. We need to blow up the roster, make some crazy trades, and do all this and just shuffle the deck again. No, it's not like that at all. Uh, we had enough points on our bench to win that game, and we didn't do it, and that's on me. Uh, as, the, as the coach and GM and owner, it's on me to get the right players in there, and I, and I didn't get it done this week. So hats off to the Eric Estradas and Chase Smith. Uh, you know, they won the game. They had Peyton Manning, who did score 40 points for them, and that's not unexpected. He had a good game, and, and nothing we can say about that. Uh, that's in the past. Our focus this week is to get ready for the Dan LaFrogs and try to do the best we can. We're going to have a better lineup. we got a new starting quarterback this week in David Girard. Uh, Aaron Foster is in the starting lineup. We've got New England's defense starting for us against the Jets, who were horrible Monday night. We're excited. Right now we're favored by two points, uh, but we know that Yahoo's projections are hardly ever right. Uh, the LaFrogs have a good team. Uh, they've made some moves that I wouldn't have done. Uh, I don't know why you trade Tom Brady for Tony Romo. I just don't. I just don't see a sane person making that move. But uh, you know, Jan Patterson's been here before. He's not a novice. He's not a rookie to fantasy football. He knows what he's doing. The fact is, they're one and zero. We're zero one. We don't have a lot to say. So we're going to do our talking on the field. And we're hoping that next week, uh, when we come and talk to you guys, we'll be 1-1, one one, uh, not 0-2. Oh I have full confidence in that. I think we're going to turn this season around. I think you're going to be surprised. I think the Sud Stable uh, is going to be a force uh, to be reckoned with in the league. I think at the end of the season, you're going to see us uh, holding the Crockett Cup. So, thanks a lot.